Well, we have, uh, we have had two sessions. Uh, we talked about a topic the New Year's Day, that, uh, the, eve of the, the eve that I have uh, shared it with you, and we continued it. What is it called? Fear of God, your true foundation. Praise God. So, Deyobhayam, namade yatharthi adhisthanam. Praise God. And the two verses of scripture, I'll simply read it for you so that you understand what it is. One is Proverbs 10.25. It says, when the storms of life come, the wicked are whirled away, whirled away, but the godly have a lasting foundation. Praise God. Chodilukkattu kadandu po umbol, dushtan illadayai, nidivano shashudamayo radistanu. Amen. So we all need to have a foundation. We need a foundation. We, we also look at the fact that the, one of the right Balance foundation is to have an understanding about eternal judgment and punishment. Praise God. That will create within us a healthy fear of God. Amen. And then we looked at what this fear of God is. There's a difference between people who are scared of God and those who really fear God. Amen. There are some people who are really very afraid of God, and we saw last week that they have something to hide. They are afraid of God. But on the other side, people who have healthy fear of God, on the other side, they are, they are kind of afraid that they would fall out of relationship with God. They are afraid of God. And they're afraid that, you know, that, that, that something will happen, you know, uh, they would be away from the Lord. You remember us uh, thinking about that song, prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. That's a fear. Prone to wander. And from the Lord who really loves me. That's a very healthy dose of fear. Amen. <clears throat> I guess that's where we stopped last time. So, just want to give you a little more idea about this fear of the Lord. Fear of the Lord is actually to honor, value, Respect, reverence him above anything and anyone else. Simple, in simple terms, that's what fear the Lord is about. Okay? Honor, value, respect, and reverence him above anything and anyone. Are katlum? Yandana katlum. Ningal Bahumani came. Vela would came. That is the fear of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Nothing more than the Lord. No one is above my Lord in your personal life. Praise God. Hallelujah. So it is to love what he loves and hate what he hates. Everybody, just pay attention to that. The fear of the Lord is to love what God loves, hate what God hates. Children, listen. Young people, listen. Adults, everybody, listen. Love what God loves and hate what God hates. So how do I know what God hates and what God loves? Read his word. Read his word. Once you read God's word, so you will have your own ideas. How long you just, just be spoon-fed? How long your mother just fast and pray for you? They'll, of course, they'll continue. But you should come to a, a point where I as a father, you know, what I like to see in my children is that, that they love what God loves. They hate what God hates. When a parent notices that in a child, I think they'll be at peace. 
അവരെ എവിടെ കൊണ്ടെറിഞ്ഞാലും ഒരു കാര്യം എനിക്കറിയാം നമുക്കറിയാം എൻ്റെ കുഞ്ഞ് ദൈവം വെറുക്കുന്നതിനെ വെറുക്കുകയും ദൈവം സ്നേഹിക്കുന്നതിനെ സ്നേഹിക്കുകയും ആ പേരൻ്റ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദൈ വിൽ ബി അറ്റ് പീസ് your past also will be at peace praise god ningal evada poyalum pedikanda avashila you will love what god loves you hate what god hates angana kan jeevikunavare kaanumbe kartavan endru sandosham nuri the lord will be so pleased with that kind of a life amen what is important to him is important to us What is important to him is important. Can you tell me what was important to Jesus when he was on this earth? What is his first message? What is the first thing Jesus preached? That's the same thing John the Baptist preached. Repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. David Adyam, all about Jesus' preaching was all about the kingdom. all about the kingdom that is important to jesus and i believe every child of god kingdom of god should be important to you that's the reason he said seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness and all of the things shall be added unto you munna me adyam and number 1 seek his kingdom and the righteousness of god be a kingdom citizen devaraja thakkal velu nonnu avarudu ipc devaraja thakkal velu avarudu അസംബ്ലീസ് ഒക്കെ ഓട് ദൈവം ചെലവ് പറഞ്ഞു അസം ചെലവ് എൻ്റെ ശരീരത്തിൽ കൂടെ ഓടുന്ന അസംബ്ലി എ ജി ബ്ലഡാണ് എ ഐ പി സി ബ്ലഡാണ് ചർച്ച കോഡിൻ്റെ ബ്ലഡാണ് സ്വർഗാതി പോകാൻ ചാൻസ് കുറവാണ് നമ്മുടെ ശിലകളിൽ കൂടി ഓടുന്നത് ദൈവരാജ്യമായിരിക്കണം ഈ ഷുഡ് ബി ദ കിങ്ഡം ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ബിക്കോസ് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് മൈ ലോഡ് വാസ് പാഷനേറ്റ് അബൌട്ട് കിങ്ഡം ഫാദേഴ്സ് കിങ്ഡം ഗോഡ്സ് കിങ്ഡം അത് നമ്മുടെ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ആയിരിക്കണം എന്തെല്ലാം കാര്യങ്ങൾ അതിൻ്റെ കൂടുതലുണ്ട് ഇല്ലയോ നമ്മുടെ കർത്താവ് ആളുകളെ കാണുമ്പോൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്ന പറഞ്ഞു ഹി സോ ദ മൾട്ടിറ്റ്യൂഡ് ദ ലോഡ് വാസ് മൂവ്ഡ് വിത്ത് കമ്പാഷൻ ഇടയിലില്ലാത്തവരെ പോലെ നരകത്തിലേക്ക് പോകുന്നവരായിട്ട് അവരെ കണ്ട് കർത്താവ് എരിശലേമേ എരിശലേമേ കോഴി തൻ്റെ കുഞ്ഞിനെ ചെറുകടി കമ്പാഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ലോഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി അവേഴ്സ് ടു വൻ യു സി യുവർ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഇൻ എ ക്ലാസ് in a workplace sitting next to you basketball court wherever it is this is what you should be thinking this is my friend and he is going to go to hell even oru vasha kartavini arinjengil ivan naragathilekku that should be the burning passion of every person because that was a passion of my lord and he is not the lord said i give this to you the ministry i give it to you because i am going and i sent you the holy spirit You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Now I want you to be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria to the ends. That was important to my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You better be interested in what the Lord is interested. You better take important what the Lord takes important. Hallelujah. That's what a healthy dose of fear of God is. When we fear Him, we will tremble and tremble. at his word which is to obey him instantly even when it does not make sense when it hurts when we don't see the benefits i'll read that statement one more time the fear of the lord is when we have the right dose of fear of god we will tremble at his word You know, last night I was in one of the cell meetings in Koshan's house. I was just, I shared exactly the same thing that I shared the previous Friday. You know, the, 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 the past Friday, which is in another home. Same cell meeting. Same message. And I really thought this is just going to because I wanted to share the same thing in another group. But as I was started sharing it, all of a sudden... the holy spirit the power came upon me so powerfully in that home Amen. very powerfully in that home it is all reminding people that they should come back to god's word they should tremble at his word they should believe his word they should obey god his word is important if you fear god you will love this his word you will obey his word hallelujah amen 
Obey him instantly. Sherikin the Yobay on Nangil, the Yodor and the when the word is preached. That's how God speaks to us. Like you listen to a sermon, either from a pulpit or maybe driving or reading. God speaks to you. They are the word of some side in the Palavar Yolanda. Saptioid and the Yobay on the other. Instant obedience. Ah, oh, I'll think about it, okay? Tonight I have a party, so we'll do it Tuesday. That's not fear of God. That's not fear of God. Instant obedience. Okay, now listen. When it doesn't make sense, when it hurts, when we don't see the benefits, he was either the either either unselected to prayodhana and the Nikola, Ipa will the poet and the prayana or the Yeni can the benefit or the I don't understand Angana Yikina Sahi till Paul Anisari Kinna and the Yovaya will love and hallelujah because my God said it, hallelujah. He must have a reason, hallelujah, for telling you to obey his word. I better listen to it. And the youth in the garden, and the garden, he looks with favor on those who tremble at his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, the manifestation of the fear of the Lord is obedience to his word, his ways, his laws. See, then the ah. Porame Namlugan, the Yanis Serenath and the Payat and the Porame of the Rashi on the Varayanada. Wadena told the Lamade, Anis Serenam. They were ten the Wadigal Odula, they were ten the Pramanang Lodula, Namade Anis Serenam. Jesus himself said, You love me, then what's the next thing? Keep my. If you love me, you keep my commandments. I love you, Lord. Because you love me, you keep my, and my commandments are not burdensome. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. Obey my. Because I love you. Because I love you. Because I you. God is asking us to obey his word. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to talk something about fear and the wisdom. And we are very familiar with uh, Proverbs 9.10. Scripture tells us that the fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom. Or we can also say it is a foundation of wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a beginning. It's a foundation. Malayalatil Hova Paktina Pakti. It's a fear of the Lord. English will be clear. It's fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Amen. Those people who make wrong choices under pressure, they lack wisdom. So the pressure were involved. Samardatina Munbil. Amen. Tirmaning led Kanavir and pressure on Adunian and Diedu, our Kendilla, Payam, Adistanamaita, Illa. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the Bible tells us that through wisdom a house is built. So this is Proverbs 24, verse 3. Nyana Munda, Pavanam, Paninu, Vivega Munda, and the other. So you have the fear of the Lord. That's the beginning of wisdom. And now with the wisdom, you build a house. The fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, fear of the Lord actually keeps us from drifting from faith. We show us still no rigi pogade. Namle suchik in the day with in the payama. Amen. Christians, believers, we will not backslide. We had the right dose of the fear of the Lord firmly planted in our hearts. We will not slip, we will not drift away from steadfast devotion to the Lord. We would take his word, we would not take his word for granted 
or we will not treat it casually. We'll take it seriously. Amen. And we have fear of the Lord. We will not flirt with sin. Listen to the Hebrews chapter 3 verse 12. It says that be careful then. Dear brothers and sisters, make sure that your own hearts are not evil and unbelieving, turning you away from the living God. You must warn each other every day while it is still today so that none of you will be deceived by sin and hardened against God. So, how do you know what you are doing? How do you know what you are doing? ദുഷ്ടഹൃദയം നിങ്ങൾ ആർക്കും ഉണ്ടാകാതിരിപ്പാൻ നോക്കുവിൻ നിങ്ങൾ ആരും പാപത്തിൻ്റെ ചതിയാൽ കഠിനപ്പെടാതിരിക്കേണ്ടതിന് ഇന്നെന്ന് പറയുന്നിടത്തോളം നാൾതോറും അന്യോന്യം പ്രബോധിപ്പിച്ചു കൊള്ളുവേൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ കമാൻഡ് ടു എവറി പേഴ്സൺ യങ് പീപ്പിൾ വെൻ യു മീറ്റ് വൺ എനദർ അഡൽസ് വെൻ യു മീറ്റ് വിത്ത് വൺ എനദർ സിസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് വെൻ യു മീറ്റ് വിത്ത് യു ഷുഡ് ബി ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് പോളിറ്റിക്സ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ബട്ട് വാട്ട് വി ഷുഡ് ബി ദ മെയിൻ ടോപ്പിക് ഓഫ് കോൺവെർസേഷൻ ഈ സ്റ്റേറിംഗ് അപ്പ് വൺ അതർ person you know warning the other person saying your sahodar mare paapam vanna chadiyil veedare let us seek the lord with all our hearts hallelujah let us follow him with all our hearts encouraging the other person one another nammal conversation il adundo do we have that subject in our conversation do we ask the other person how is your spiritual life Don't tell him that's a wrong question to ask in America. That's your responsibility. Honest are you looking at again? With sincerity you should ask, how are you doing son? Sister, how are you? How is spiritual life going? It's not actually, my prayer life is down. Or I'm not doing as I ought to be doing. about arthur joikanam is is there something that i can do for you i can pray with you can i pray can we pray namakonu prarthikka oru nimisham can we just pray will you please pray for me and like you this is how we stir up one another karyam we don't want to be deceived that day amen, amen. hallelujah അവിശ്വാസമുള്ള ദുഷ്ടഹൃദയം നിങ്ങൾ ആർക്കും ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു നോക്കുവൻ നിങ്ങൾ ആരും പാപത്തിന്റെ ചതി സിൻ ഓൾവേസ് ഇസ് കണിങ് സിൻ ഇസ് ഡിസീവിങ് അത് സംഭവിക്കാതിരിക്കണം നോട്ട് ടു ഹാപ്പൻ ഇന്നെന്ന് പറയുന്നിടത്തോളം നാൾതോറും അന്യോന്യം ഐ മെൻ വൈൽ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സ്റ്റിൽ ടു ഡേ ടു ഡേ ഐ മെൻ വി ആർ ടു വോൺ ഈച്ച് അതർ എവ്രി ഡേ ദിസ് ഇസ് വൈ പീപ്പിൾ നീഡ്സ് എ കം ടു ചർച്ച് lot of people think that i can stay home this i have a nice television set at home there's plenty of things to watch witless abayo allo she witless abayo thirikkunna oru manushu pol ningal yoikkilla engal undu admit you i mean it's good you should listen to when you have other thing you know just what but i tell you, don't that is, you should not inst- that's not instead of worship time amen aradhana nalthi varumbol oru sahodaran oru kai ekku tharum oru santhosham undu le eh oru kai kodukkumbo oru God bless you, brother. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Okay? Feels good, isn't it? One hug go. Flew a colony. I'm going to go to the house. I'm just saying. But I'm saying, one hand, one chiri, one pat on the back. One hand. But you know, if you have a prior number, you know, you have a prior number, you know, you have a prior number, you know, you have a prior number, you know. you should come inside go meet with them you say thank you for you know just encourage them i try to do that to these everyone because they don't come i go that side i meet with them i see them outside i see them meet with them. this is how we should do we should encourage one another warn one another seriously that's how we should do praise god you like my message i know all right look i want you to just tell you what jeremiah speaks about the new testament church so you remember this is a prophet seeing from the distant past looking into the future okay this is jeremiah chapter 38 chapter 32 i'm going to be reading from verse 38 onwards so listen to this very carefully all right they will be my people so you're talking about our people like okay, new testament people they will be my people and i will be their god god speaks to jeremiah is talking about us they will be my people i will be their they'll be my people i will be their god and i will give them one heart 
one way and they, that they may reverently, amplified version says, they may reverently fear me forever. Oh, oh. That they will reverently fear me forever for their own good and for the good of their children after them. Our Ragunatina Matravella, our Ratanamura Ragunatrivendium, they were ten Nirandaram Payapadanam, hallelujah. To every father and every mother, every adult, I want to tell you, you fear God not only for you, but for your generations to come, hallelujah. Ningala Makala, Ningala Kuchor Kumbal, when they think about you, father or grandfather, they should have at least one memory, not that you left a million dollar for them, half a million dollar worth of a house, but even if there's nothing left in the bank for you, they should be able to say, my grandfather feared God, my grandmother feared God, my dad feared God, my mom feared God, hallelujah, that's all it is needed. Hallelujah. The children after them, I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will do them good and not turn away from them. And I will put in their heart a fear and reverential of, of me so that they will not turn away from me. I'm not saying this. This is the Almighty God speaking about the New Testament church through the words of prophet Isaiah. So his fear of God should it, should it be part of our foundation? Yes, it is. Malayana thing in our Yana Vere, Vitu Vidyade, our Kanan Majaydu and Dirikim, Yending and Yana Vuro to Shashul Niman Chayim, our and a Vitu Mara, the Idipan, Yangalula Payam, Alangal Pakri, Yana Vura Kurde Tilakum. When you have the fear of the Lord in your heart, you will not turn away from the Lord. I don't did our Yakamur Path and Abrathich or Kartavi, the Yuata Kurzulu Payam, and the Agathan and the Pogger. The fear of the Lord should never depart from me. Hallelujah. Yes, you will be asked to go to places where it is you, you don't want to go. You may have to sit with somebody for a few minutes. You may have to play basketball with somebody or just study together with somebody. Maybe you have to just seek friendship for somebody. Maybe for some other purpose. Don't allow your heart to be in the field. You guard your heart with all vigilance and pray in your heart. Lord, I want to have the fear of the Lord in my heart. Lord, do not let them not drag me to the way. I want to be that salt that is powerful. Hallelujah. I want to be that sea, that salt with power. Hallelujah. Sandra, they low point. High density, high potency, salt tight. Any kirikalam. Hallelujah. The fear of the Lord. <clears throat> I want to just take you to an, another New Testament passage. Or oh, this is an incident coming from the book of Acts. Hallelujah. You know, there are times, even in this church, during our worship or singing, not every Sunday is the same. Not every meeting is the same. Not every message is the same. But there are times you would really experience the powerful presence of the Lord in a very tangible way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will experience the power of God so powerfully in the place. Because God says in his word, he says, where two or three gathers in my name, I am there in the midst. The Lord is here. But there are times you will experience that presence in a more Tangible way, Ninga got thought to Manasila come the deal, even though Yavari can order the Eva Sandy Timunda, hallelujah. And at that kind of a situation, you better be careful not to make a wrong move. Better be careful not to make a wrong move. The Eva Sandy Tim Naranina Adima Sapaila. 
One couple decided to make a wrong move. Hallelujah. 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 See, God says, fear me forever that they will not depart from me. A lot of the previous verse we read. Fear me so that you will not depart from me. You see, this couple made a wrong move. In the atmosphere where the power of God is so powerful. And the result was their immediate judgment. And five, Acts chapter 5 verse 11 says, So great fear came upon all the church, upon all who heard these things. Hallelujah. Ananias is suffering instant night to Marichi in Nepal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church, I want to tell you something. Do not wait until an Ananias Safira story occurs in the church. They are available. Ananias in the Safira. Anipaunda and the Kaptiri Kenda start fearing God even before something like that happens. Fear God. Fear God. Hallelujah. You know, this fear of the Lord. This provides us with clean feeling, with nalla feeling. In Psalms 19, verse 9, I'm the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. Amen. Enduring forever. Hallelujah. You know this. When they were singing, or, or I don't know if somebody was praying, I still remember, I think Bobby was just saying, who, who will stand on his holy hill? Yes, who will enter? Who will ascend into the mount of the Lord? Vedipulla. Kayum. Nirmala. It goes on to talk about the qualities of a person. They will endure forever. Hallelujah. That you will stand in the presence of God. Hallelujah. You will endure forever. Hallelujah. Let's say if you are to ask God, Lord, can you tell us some key figures? In the Bible, in your opinion, did not endure. And the original day, the Lord will say, Lucifer was a lead worship angel in heaven. Pulian or the Koyarande, worship director, Bayangra Pulian was a very, very, very skillful person, spirit. He was anointed, beautiful, and blessed, but he did not. Fear me, and he did not endure in my presence forever. It doesn't matter who you are. Praise God. Who's the one again? The youth of Haila and Uligu. And the same Hassanam, and the Enorgy, the youth and the Hassanam today? Oh, I set my throne above. Who do you think you are? One third of angels who followed him, God says, did not endure in my presence. Adam and Eve walked in my presence, they, in the presence of my glory. And the Mahatvat in the Sanitatil Nadanarandavera, Adam Uhawim, they fellowship with me. And I came down every evening, but they didn't fear me. They did not endure. In my presence forever. They didn't take me seriously. When I told them. That they are forbidden. To eat the fruit of the tree. They listen to the snake or to Satan. Than believe my words. His promises are true. They are true. 
You better believe what God says, not what the culture says, not what your buddy says, not what film says, not what Hollywood says, not what fashion designers say, not what all the sports icons say. You better believe what God says. Do not listen even to anything, whether it's CNN or Fox or anything. Just listen to what God says. Don't say, this is how it is. Listen to what God says. Because you fear him. Hallelujah. See, it keeps us continuously obedient to God. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 1 says, Therefore, we are warned. We are given a warning again. Therefore, while the promise of entering his rest still remains and is freely offered today. Therefore, while the promise of entering his rest still remains and is freely offered avan the swasthadil praveshipanulla vaagdatham sheshichirikkal amen hallelujah the promise is here it is here it's freely offered nee paisa onnu kodukanda thamburanda chelavil ninakku swasthadil praveshikkam on account of Jesus' work, finished work on the cross, you can enter that rest. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. You don't have to pay a penny. You don't have to pay a dollar for it. You don't need to light a lamp or, or anything for that purpose. Nothing is needed. Freely offered to you to enter the rest. Today, the offering is today. Let us fear. The writer of the Hebrew so wise, he says, let us fear in case any of you may seem to come short of reaching it or think he has come too late. He didn't say love one another. No. He didn't say love God. No. What did he say? Fear God. Fear God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You wanted to endure in his presence. Fear God. There was a very famous evangelist. He was actually serving the last year of his five-year prison term. Uh, another famous evangelist visited him in the jail. And this convicted preacher, in jail, he said, he made a confession. He said, this prison was not God's judgment on my life. Rather, his mercy. If I would have kept going the way I was living, I would have ended up in hell for eternity. Did you hear that? Listen. This prison was not God's judgment on my life. Amen. This is the mercy of God towards me. If I would have kept Going the way I was living, I would have ended up in hell for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for the prison. Hallelujah. Eternity is more important. Hallelujah. Break it to the number and accident and I and I Thank the Lord for all that happened in your life. It happened for a person. That's the reason you turned around 100 degree, 180 degree. You turned around. Hallelujah. Thank God for that failure. Thank God for it. Hallelujah. The story didn't end there. This visiting evangelist asked this prisoner who is actually a famous evangelist. When did you fall out of love with Jesus? 
അയാളോട് ചോദ്യം ചോദിച്ചു എപ്പോഴാ യേശുവിനോടുള്ള സ്നേഹത്തിൽ നിന്ന് എപ്പോഴാ വീണുപോയി എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചു വെൻ ഇറ്റ് യു ഫോളോ അവിടെ ലവ് ഫോർ ജീസസ് ദ കൺവിക്റ്റഡ് പ്രീച്ചർ ഇങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞു ഐ ഡി നോട്ട് ഫോളോ ഔട്ട് ഫ്രം ദ ലവ് ഓഫ് ജീസസ് ജി ഹിയർ ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഡി നോട്ട് ജോഷ ഡി ജി ഹിയർ ദാറ്റ് മാൻ ഹി സെ ഐ ഡി നോട്ട് ഫോളോ ഔട്ട് ഫ്രം ദ ലവ് ഓഫ് ജീസസ് അപ്പോൾ വിളി ചോദിച്ച ചോദ്യം യു വിൽ ബി പാസൽ റൈറ്റ് when you hear something like that anjuvalam kodathi shishu vidichirikka then he asked what about that mail fraud and adultery you committed for the past 7 years and for that you are in prison 5 years how about that how can you say you didn't fall out from the love of god adam parney da he told i love jesus all the way through but he was not the supreme authority in my life or i did not fear god vebijaram jayumbal yesu nod sreyavar even when he was committing adultery he said i love jesus he was defrauding he was still loving jesus squandering money he was still loving jesus you can have that equation you can still preach you can still sing you can be part of a crowd part of a committee you can be involved in a ministry teaching sunday school youth ministry everything but you can you cannot say you i love jesus but you can still be sinning yes you can still love jesus and do all these things that's pretty sad right in the other one last concluding sentence he said to us it's still even the serving he said there are millions of american christians just like me they call jesus the savior and love him but they don't fear him as their supreme lord ingana varu yeshuvine thangale rakshidavai kaanugayum snehikkeyum cheyyumengilum thangale paramaadhigaariya yajamananai karudatha leshalachakkanakkinu vishwasigal enna pole amerikkanu that was that was his opinion about american christianity he said there are millions of christians in america just like me who profess to love jesus still live in sin hallelujah just recall the words of moses see jesus cannot loving jesus alone cannot keep us from falling away we must also fear god as well he snehom payom or balance il kondu va nammale kondu kaiyanam listen just remember what god said to moses we call the words of moses or oh, this is what moses says god has come to you this is 2020 of exodus god has come to test you so that his fear may be before you so that you may not sin moses jana thodu varnada payapadenda do not fear okay we we looked at this verse before you remember do not fear so that fear you don't need നിങ്ങളെ പരീക്ഷിക്കേണ്ടതിന് നിങ്ങൾ പാപം ചെയ്യാതിരിപ്പാൻ അവങ്കലുള്ള ഭയം നിങ്ങൾക്കുണ്ടായിരിക്കേണ്ടതിന് അത്ര ദൈവം വന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് ഗാഡ് ഹസ് കം സോ ദറ്റ് യു ഡോൺ ഹാവ് ദിസ് ഫിയർ യു ഡോൺ നീഡ് ദിസ് ഫിയർ ബട്ട് യു ഹാവ് ദിസ് ഫിയർ ഏ മാൻ ഫ്രൈസ് ഗാഡ് ആ ഭയം ദാറ്റ് ഫിയർ ഈസ് വാ ദ ചർച്ച് നീഡ് ദാറ്റ്സ് എ ഫൗണ്ടേഷൻ ഓഫ് യുവർ ക്രിസ്ത്യൻ ലൈഫ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ ടു മൈ ഗാഡ് ഈസ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ യു വാട്ട് ഹി ഹേറ്റ്സ് ഐ ഹേറ്റ്സ് Amen. Hallelujah. This fear and also bringing to full effect your salvation. Namada rechevdi a full advantage ilek varududum namada payo maito the connection. Paul tells in the book of Philippians. This is chapter 2. He says that so then my dear this is chapter 2 verse 12 so then my dear ones just as you have always obeyed 
okay, my instructions with enthusiasm, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence. Continue to work out your salvation with all inspired fear and trembling. Amen. Using serious caution and critical self-evaluation to avoid anything that might offend God or discredit the name of Christ. This is the amplified translation of that same verse. Payathodum virayolonum gude. No. I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm not going to say anything about it. That's not what it says. That's not what it says here. It says here, continue to work out your salvation. Okay, uh, continue to work out your salvation means that is cultivate it, bring it to full effect, actively pursue spiritual maturity. Amen. Cultivate it. Now you have to cultivate it. Hallelujah. Bring it to full effect. Hallelujah. And pursue spiritual maturity. Christu from one degree of glory to another degree of glory. That should be your desire. Hallelujah. And how you should do it with all inspired fear and trembling. Oh my God, you are awesome God. That brings a fear into my heart. Oh God. So ye fear him. Namala salvation they would complete effective connection. There's a connection between these two. Hallelujah. So we carry and complete. Our salvation with reverential fear and trembling. See, notice here, Paul did not say, we fully complete or finish our salvation with love and kindness. He didn't say, work out your salvation with love and kindness. No. He said, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Praise God. One of the resolutions you can make today. Lord, I wanted to make sure that I obey this word. I told that little group that I was meeting, you should make it a decision to, uh, to finish reading Bible at least once in 2024. Where those who are rushing in and children, you can. There are apps that helps you. It's one thing that I use called read the scripture. It really helps. It tells you what you need to read. It reminds you. Read 30 minutes, 30, 20 minutes is all that you need. You can finish reading the entire Bible. Read this word. And once you know that it is against God's word, immediately with fear and trembling say, I'm sorry, Lord. Thank you for reminding me. Holy Spirit, thank you. Walk away. Listen, practical applications can take. Children, you remember, do you watch anything that is not good? Sometimes, right? No? Just look. All the same. When you take that unnecessary things, you know, they're there to feed. It should come to your heart. This is garbage. Walk away. Fear and trembling. I'm a child of God. I hate what God hates. I love what God loves. Just, just, just enjoy the discipline. Yes. Children, very important. You are growing. Very important. Your emotions are going crazy at times. You know, emotions. Particularly, just make sure you don't go get into unnecessary thing when you're studying. 13, 14, 15 year old, you feel like he's looking at me, I'm looking at him. These things happen. I had it when I was your age. There was no preacher like me who tell me that, son, don't do it. 
So keep all those things. Our feelings are going to have a side loading and a vetcho. Say, good Lord, I'm, I'm a man, or I'm, I'm a boy, I'm a girl. Thank you for making me, but I'll wait for your time. Now I have to do math, physics, chemistry. So let me do that, Lord. Stop it right here. Do not continue it here. Because it will destroy you, it will destroy your career, your future, everything. Okay? Because it's a good thing. pastor and all you Treat your sister, every sister in this, every female in this church as your sisters. Every boy in this church as your, that's biblical. That's a biblical thing. Paul said, Timothy, treat every older man as your father and every older woman as your, you as a young man, you as a young man. Timothy, you as a young man. Every young woman in that church, treat them as your sister. And every young boy as your brother. That's the balance. If God has a plan that one of you should get married in the church, in my case, our child got married to somebody here in this church. God has a plan at the right time. You should talk with your parents first, pray about it, and should go that way. Before that, don't get into any of these things here. Pastor Engel said this because Pastor Engel had to say this. <laughs> you don't think Pastor Engel is just an old time or Pastor Engel is a very smart guy. Pastor Engel knows what's really going on in the church. I, my eyes are upon every single person here. I know exactly what is going on with adults, what is going on with young people, children, everything. All right? Let's put all those things to rest. Keep it at the seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade. Let's go on to college, go on to maturity, and then finish all those things. Then pray. You should pray. God, bring you the right person into my life. God will bring a right person into your life at the right time. Can I hear an amen in the house of God? All right, so all this says because here we fear God. There are a lot of applications for that. Amen? Amen. Children, don't hate me, okay? I'm still your pastor. I love you all so much. Amen. We'll pick this up next week because there's one more thing I want to say. Next week, we're going to be a little more serious stuff here. But everything is serious here. Listen here, when you say you love God, you hate what God can I see you hear that? You hate, say, say, I hate what God hates. I love God, what God loves. God will be so happy with us. Whatever happens in our lives, we become the people of the book. We love his word. We obey his word. Tremble at his word. That's what the Lord really wants. Amen? Let's close our eyes. I'm going to Every eye close, every eye close. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. I want you to submit to that word you heard today. Hallelujah. Lord, in 2024, I will obey your word, oh God. That gossip will not come out of your mouth. The lying will not come. Because I know, God, you hate lying. That will not come out of my mouth. Lord. Unnecessary look will not come out of my eyes. I will not listen to things that are unclean, Lord God. I will not watch things that, are, that you hate, oh God. I want to honor you, Lord, with my life. Hallelujah. Bible also tells us this, and Bible says, in songs, Song of Songs, they do not awaken love before time. That's the reason, the last thing that I was talking to you today, this applies mostly to our young children here. Do not awaken love before it is time. That's, that's something the Lord really tells you. Keep it where it is. It has a place, a time for it. Leave it aside and pray. And say, God, I want to surrender myself to your will, O oh God. Here I am. 